welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to make this tutorial for you today. A lot of you text me and let me know in Instagram that you want I make this tutorial about Little Village watercolor houses. Now I like to make this composition for the videos. I really like to paint with this aesthetic. I have this for my pictures and Instagram too. So here we go. This is the pencil that I like to use for my sketches. The brand is Black. Let me see Black Wind. I, I leave this in the link below for you guys if you want to try this pencil. But I always think that you have to go with the things that you have at home first and try to use the watercolors and the pencils and everything that you have that you have at home. It's important that we first start checking if we really like to do this and we really enjoyed making these watercolors and painting. And then you can go and start buying new materials and like a go crazy with that. Uh, here we start making blocks next to each other. Uh, my paintings, I like to make the branches, the trees, everything together is <laughs> like my style. I use this eraser. The brand is Mono. I'm going to leave the link below for you of all the supplies that I'm going to use today. I make the ceilings and final details here in the sketches and we're going to start first with the sky. I use this brush. I told you about this one in my last video. This one is the silver black velvet. I bought this one in blink art materials, but you can find that one in Amazon too. This is my blues. I'm going to use like uh, something like paints, gray, uh, ultramarine blue. I like to mix for the sky two or three different blues and sometimes I put uh, purples too but today we're going to use like two different shades of blues. It's important that for the sky looks well and uh, don't let dry the edge. You have to do it very fast. It's a tip that I learned. Okay we going to let this dry when it's dry we're going to start with the color of the houses i'm using right now lunar earth from daniel smith or that is similar if you have grand sienna or you can use to like english red or indian red you don't have to use exactly the watercolors that i'm using right now you just have to go for the things that you have at home, but I let you know the colors so you have a reference. I like to make a lot of pigment in the corner of the painting in the edge, and then I fill with water. Now I'm using this green, is the shadow green from Holbein. Again, we do a lot of pigment and then water. We're going to do this process with all the blocks, but always paint the blocks between, not each other. Always you have to let they dry and the color doesn't mix. Here I use Perline Violet and this one is Yellow Ochre. The last one is Under the Sea Green from Daniel Smith. I'm going to let off the, all the names of the watercolors that I used for this painting in the link behind. I have to tape this, this painting because move a lot. I always forgot. It, the best thing is do it in the beginning, but I always forgot it and I do it right now. So we finish painting the, the ceilings of the houses, take a lot of pigment for paint the edge and then blend that pigment with water inside. You can see that I'm using just one glass of water, but I like to have sometimes two, one with red shadows and one with blues. Uh, I can explain to you more about that later. Now we're going to paint the doors. I use like a dark brown. These doors are like a rectangles or you can make like ovals, two different shapes 
something that I like is go to Pinterest and check reference uh, little houses and find find pictures that give me inspiration to make the tails. It's a really cool idea. I'm finishing here the doors and we're going to start picking up gold. This is like a yellow gold, deep yellow. I use it for make the windows. It's like a light inside the houses. I paint small squares, but actually you can make rectangles or circles. Like I told you, go for reference of the houses. Um, you can make these details with your style and how you like it. This is the way that I paint. This is the way that I teach you today, but it's really cool and nice if you can go and find another reference to make small details that is your style. Here are some details for the doors. I make a little bit of spots to look like a real wood. And we're going to pick dark brown. Sometimes you can pick just a regular brown and put more green, dark green, or you can mix with a dark red to make different shadows. With this, we're going to paint the edge of the windows. This you can make like four squares and divide in six. I like to use for my watercolors this little bottle of water. I found this one in Dollar Tree. It's easy to find and I splash my watercolors with this one and I have the pigments ready to use to have the pigments ready when you splash with this bottle. Okay, now we're going to start making the white details. A lot of you ask me what I use, so I use Wash. This is the brand is Windsor and Newton. I bought the big one because I use a lot this white wash. Again with my bottle, I'm going to get ready the painting. This brush, I, you know that I love. This is the Skoda Perla number no. two. And I'm going to take a lot of pigment. Sometimes you have to paint like two times or three times to get really, really white because we are painting on top the sky, the blues. We make the form of the moon, a little moon. And then we're going to use this Posca pen for make the stars. I love this Posca pen. Again, a lot of you ask me what are the whites that I use for make the details in my watercolors and it's this one and the wash. And the Posca pen is very versatile to make details. I make always my stars with this one. And the small details of the branches and my forest is very cool. The stars doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're going to use this micro pen. It's from Sakura. This is the um, gold edition, but I, the normal, it looks like that one, but I'm going to use the gold edition. We're going to make a small like doodle, plant doodles, like pot plants in the buildings and in the houses. I like to make these details in everything. You can make flowers, you can make branches, plants, or if you want to make something different, like folk details that going to be nice too, or people, animals, but it's nice. I always get full of details, my paintings. I think that is very nice and fun that the paintings are full full of details that is my style i hope you like it and i hope you enjoy like i enjoy enjoying painting these little houses please let me know if you like this video if you want a tutorial of another of my paintings give me ideas you know <laughs> that i'm new here I'm trying to figure out the light, the hours to make this. This not is easy at all. <laughs> make videos for YouTube is something new for me. Takes more time than I expect. Uh, for me, normally is make the reels for Instagram. That is something that I guess get used to. But 
for sure I'm very happy that you like this and all your message so I'm going to continue improve everything here I hope you like this video please let me know what you think about this tutorial and thank you so much I talk to you later